Hello everyone, I am Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called RBI 247. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try to discuss them with the help of different questions. So before moving on to question number one, for all those who are watching this video for the very first time, you can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon for all latest updates and notifications. You can also join our telegram group. In this very group, we share some free quizzes, the updates for all our videos and you can also post your queries over here. So now let's move on to question number one. The question says, what does it refer to? So we have to identify the concept being talked about over here. The first statement says it's a concept which was coined by Nassim Nicholas Taleb, and the second one says that it's an extremely negative event or occurrence that is unpredictable, unknowable and its results are severe and having widespread consequences. So the kind of event which is quite negative, unpredictable, unknowable is known as a black swan event. The answer to this question is option B. So let us understand a bit about this black swan event. Before going to the concept of black swan event, why am I discussing this? Because it is it was uh, recently in talks that coronavirus is a black swan event. So through this piece of uh, information which I am going to share with you all, we'll understand what is a black swan event and is it correct to say that coronavirus is such an event or not. So if I talk about a black swan event, why we are calling it a black swan event? First, let's understand this. Black swans are really very rare. Ye bohat rare species hai. Usually the swans are white in color. Okay, but if you are able to see a black swan, that means you are quite lucky because you have uh, seen a rare species. So it has been named as a black swan event when the Europe an event is called a black swan event when it is rare, when it is unpredictable. So Europeans for the first time saw the black swans on, in Australia. So they, prior to that they th thought that the swans are only white in color. So it was a rare sight where they saw the black swans. It came out to be a big surprise for them when they were able to see black swans. Europeans who first landed on the continent and saw these swans was a big surprise for them so that's why the name black swan has come up and when an event is called a black swan event when it is rare it is unpredictable and unknowable so you haven't predicted that such a thing can happen but it happens so it's a term which we use in finance and it refers to such events which are negative in nature and whose occurrence was a impossibly difficult task to predict you would you could have predicted that such a thing can happen so when any unexpected unknowable event actually happens then such an event is called a black swan event so for an event to be categorized under the black swan event some characteristics are there which such an event should possess so first is it should be unpredictable, unknowable. आपको नहीं पता था ऐसा कुछ हो जाएगा आपने predict ही नहीं किया था और ऐसी चीज हो गई जो आपको पता ही नहीं थी. Such a event can be called as a black swan event. Moreover, such a event results in severe and widespread consequences. The consequences of such an event are very catastrophic, very negative, very far-reaching. उसके जो भी repercussions होंगे वो बहुत ज़्यादा ख़राब होंगे. Okay, बहुत negative impact होगा लोगों पे या environment पे या किसी भी चीज़ पे. Okay, consequences उसके negative होंगे. And the third one talks about the hindsight bias. So what is this? After the occurrence of a black swan event, people will rationalize the event, try to normalize it as having been predictable. So once an event will happen, then people will come up with different talks and they will say uh, that, okay, this was to some extent predictable, we, have, we were already prepared to deal with it and saying so, they will try to normalize the situation. People will say that we knew that it was going to happen, we were prepared, we could deal with it and we could deal with all the things that we could deal with it. कर ली तो वो सिचुएशन को नॉर्मलाइज करने का ट्राई करेंगे लेकिन एक्चुअली वो शो करेगा कि वो कुछ फर्दर इंप्रूव नहीं करना चाहते खुद को ताकि 
वो सिचुएशन से बेटर डील कर सके जब मैं कोरोना वायरस के बारे में डिस्कस करूँगी दिस पॉइंट विल बी मोर क्लियर सो पीपल विल ट्राई टू से डिफरेंट थिंग्स ट्राइंग टू नॉर्मलाइज द सिचुएशन दे विल ट्राई टू से दैट येस वी प्रोडिक्टेड इट वी वर प्रिपेयर वेन एक्चुअली दे वर नॉट प्रिपेयर टू डील विद दैट एंड दिस शोज देयर लैक ऑफ कंसिस्टेंस टू फर्दर कंटिन्यू विद सम इम्प्रूवमेंट सो दैट दे कैन बेटर डील विद सच इवेंट्स सो मूविंग अहेड फर्दर not surprisingly many people have termed covid pandemic as black swan but the question is is it one if i talk about uh, the pandemic it seems that we saw the pandemic coming but still we ignored it okay hame dikh raha tha ki aise situation ho sakti hai future mein but humne usko ignore kiya many politicians are there many chief executives are there of different companies who want to term corona virus as a black swan event so the question is they are saying that okay it's a black swan event but is it truly a black swan event let us study about it a bit in detail obviously the ceos the politicians they don't want that people should blame them for not being prepared for the pandemic okay so they want to convince others that it's a black swan event we couldn't have predicted it so this is all we could have done Uh, agar aap uh, so this is going to absolve them from the blame that you were not prepared agar ceos or politicians ye prove karne mein uh, basically successful hote hain ki covid black swan event hai to uska matlab ye hoga ki covid ko hum predict nahi kar sakte the hame pata hi nahi tha ki koi pandemic ho sakta hai to itna hi hai jitna hum kar pa rahe hain as a government as a nation as businesses we are doing all uh, that we can okay isse zyada hum kuch nahi kar sakte the kyunki ye event hamara predictable nahi tha agar ye prove ho jayega to un pe koi blame nahi aayega ki hamari government ne kuch nahi kiya ya hamare ceos jo hain companies ke unhone kuch actions previously hi nahi leke rakhe jo hame better help kar sakte the to wo is blame se chutkara pana chahte hain isliye wo ye keh rahe hain ki ye black swan event hai hum iska kuch nahi kar sakte the okay that's why they want it to uh, they want to prove it to be a black swan event which will absolve them from the failures that they were not prepared moreover by calling it a black swan it becomes easy for the ceos to lobby the government to bail them out with the tax payer money so if the ceos if, if the businesses are able to prove that yes it's a black swan event then obviously they can say we were not prepared we are also suffering the negative repercussions so please support us like the government is doing it's supporting the businesses even if we talk about the rbi actions rbi has been providing uh, taking different actions to support the small businesses the industries so अगर ये लोग अगर ये प्रूव होता है कि ये एक ब्लैक स्वाइन इवेंट है तो ऑब्वियसली गवर्नमेंट पे ब्लेम नहीं आएगा पर फिर भी जो बिजनेसेस हैं वो गवर्नमेंट से फ़ायदा उठा सकते हैं कि हमें आप सपोर्ट करो हमने ये प्रिडिक्ट नहीं किया था ऐसा हो जाएगा तो हमने उससे रिलेटेड कोई एक्शन भी नहीं लेके रखे हैं तो सपोर्ट एज बाई प्रोवाइडिंग अस मोर मनी सो एज फर एज पोलिटिशंस आर कंसर्न बाई कैटेगराइजिंग द आउटब्रेक एज अ ब्लैक स्वैन they don't need to explain people why they were caught completely unprepared for it so agar ye prove kar dete hain wo ki ye black swan event hai to government pe bhi blame nahi aata government prepared nahi thi okay so ki aise pandemic ya health major health issue se deal karne ke liye hamari country prepared nahi thi hence both politicians and ceos have some have an incentive to label a pa- this pandemic as a black swan event but again the question arises is it so the lab doesn't think so so i just told you that in that uh, Nick, nasim nicholas the lab he gave this concept so as per his definition and as per him as well this is not actually a black swan event let us see why the corona virus is a bad fit for the telebs definition why so yeah on one to one extent it is true that covid pandemic has taken up the lives of people many people have dislocated and then there are a lot of economic losses everyone has suffered a lot but again it's an event although it's an event that has resulted in negative consequences severe consequences but it's still not correct to call it a black swan event why so because the emergence of such an event which is so dangerous virus was unpredictable we can't say so 
The emergence of such a dangerous virus, really an unpredictable outlier, suddenly swooped in from outside our expectations. No, ये suddenly नहीं हुआ है. Pandemics जो हैं वो past में भी होते रहे हैं. अगर हम उनसे अभी तक कुछ नहीं सीखे, तो हम आगे कैसे सीखेंगे? कैसे हम function कर पाएंगे? Uh, so what I am saying is that pandemics have happened regularly. If we look at the history, there was Spanish flu, there was Asian flu, Ebola. Then there was a uh, different respiratory sim uh, syndromes like the severe acute, acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, Middle East respiratory uh, syndrome. So such pandemics have happened. So we should have been prepared to deal with coronavirus as well. If we are not prepared, if the government is not prepared, then the uh, the fault is on our part. Okay, that's the reason why we can't call coronavirus as a black swan event. It's not that we were. Uh, not expecting that such a thing can can happen. Other than pandemics happening at regular intervals, we have seen them happening at regular intervals. Other than that, there were some specific warnings also given that we should be prepared. We should improve on our health sector. But despite of that, we have not taken the actions. To provide you with some examples, uh, which prove this. George Bush, Barack Obama, they have warned about the pandemic in different speeches which they gave at the National Institutes of Health. Along with that, there are different articles, there are different papers and other sources that warn us about the next pandemic and that government needs to be better prepared to deal with the pandemic. Bill Gates in 2018 in one of his speeches talked about the pandemic where he said that there is one area uh, though where the world isn't making much progress. So what's that area where the world is not progressing? That's the pandemic preparedness. We are not prepared to deal with pandemic in a better manner. Then the 2017 Harvard Business Review article talked about pandemics now occur with greater frequency yet the threat of deadly pandemic remains dangerously overlooked. We have not given the idea that pandemics will have such a negative impact. We have not taken any actions that we have prepared for the better prepared for the pandemic. We have got so many warnings uh, in the form of pandemics happening regularly. We have got a lot of warnings or there have been different speeches where we have talked about that we lack on our pre uh, pandemic preparedness despite of that we were not prepared so many such warnings made over the years and still the governments across the world were largely unprepared so we can't say in all fairness and honesty that no one saw the possibility of covid coming okay there was obviously possibility that any time any kind of a pandemic can happen this is the reason why we can't call it to be a black swan event. Although we couldn't have uh, precisely predicted the extent to which the pandemic could have had the effects, okay, the precise form couldn't have been predicted, uh, could not have been predicted. But uh, if we talk about the different rich resource countries, okay, if they are also not able to deal with it, they are not prepared for it, then obviously the mistake is on our part. We cannot pass on the blame that such an event is a that corona is a black swan event and we could have done anything about it so this was all about this topic now moving on to second question sebi has come up with a discussion paper a proposal on setting up gold spot exchange in the domestic market the gold will be traded as electronic gold receipts in the exchange as for the proposal which of the following statements states the objective behind this proposal of setting up this exchange so question number two and three both deal with a sebi's proposal a discussion paper or on setting up a gold spot exchange in india so let us understand a bit about this concept of gold spot exchange and then we'll answer the questions so sebi is proposing that we should have a spot gold exchange in india spot exchange means where different financial instruments like your commodities your currencies your securities are traded for the immediate delivery so uh, sebi is planning to come up with a spot exchange where we'll have a de have the dealings in gold now if you remember uh, the 2018-19 budget, then the government at that time announced it, its intent to have a regulated gold exchange in India. Okay, so at that time they have planned that SEBI will be regulating it and along with SEBI, the warehousing development and regulatory authority, it will be handling the process of vaulting, assaying and logistics. 
okay so our warehousing related thing will be handled by this regulatory body but now uh, what sebi has decided uh, that what has been decided that ministry of finance and sebi have recently decided that all the things related to gold spot exchange will be handled by sebi as a regulatory body so only sebi will handle it it will regulate the entire ecosystem of gold exchange and it will also regulate the vaulting assaying gold quality and delivery standards so what is assaying assaying is uh, basically assessing the quality of gold and how pure is gold gold kitna pure hai wo process of us of uh, checking that and vaulting is basically keeping the storage of gold safe keeping of gold now when you will provide the physical gold it will get converted into electronic gold receipts and will be traded then obviously there will be a need to keep uh, the uh, to store the physical gold which has been provided okay we need to keep the gold in a safe manner so vaulting wo service hai vaulting is that service where we store the gold we ensure the safe keeping of gold um, which is deposited by the depositor for trading in the form of electronic gold receipts and it will include some other services as well like we'll use the service of assessors for testing the good quality Uh, of gold then we'll coordinate with the depositors for handling all the trading related process then there is need to provide the deposit storage delivery services to the owners so all these things come up under vaulting now talking about this concept that why india wants or why sebi wants uh, uh, for india wants a spot gold exchange for india what are the reasons ki hame gold exchange lana chahiye india mein let us look at those reasons so if i talk about the reasons of gold exchange in india one major reason is that india is a major consumer of gold so if i talk about india's ranking after china it's the second largest consumer of gold when we are uh, consuming gold around 8 to 800 to 900 go of uh, tons of gold per year then to match that level of our consumption we need a vibrant gold ecosystem hame ek acha ecosystem chahiye gold se deal karne ke liye so this exchange can provide us that ecosystem now if i talk about gold the prices of gold are determined worldwide so if we set up our own gold exchange then we'll be able to determine the gold prices for india specifically specifically so instead of being a price setter instead of being a price taker we want to become a price setter hum price setter banna chahte hain jo gold india ke gold ke prices khud determine karenge okay for our one nation we'll have one price of gold that's the objective of setting up the exchange other than that it is also going to provide some more benefits like we'll have more efficient and transparent process of determining this price of gold we can assure the quality of gold when you are providing the physical gold it is getting converted into receipts which is traded and then you can also get physical gold in return then obviously when this is regulated by sebi your gold quality will be pure you can better integrate with the financial markets and it will augment the process of gold recycling so you will provide the physical gold it will get converted into receipts which can be which can be traded and then it will get back converted into physical gold where you can provide the receipt and get back gold so this way gold is getting recycled in the country moving ahead what other proposals have sebi come up with uh, it has decided to constitute two working groups so the first working group jo first set of group hoga wo kisse deal karega it will recommend a framework for trading of gold on the exchange and the settlement procedure and the second working group will be understanding how the gold ecosystem operates in india and it will suggest some improvements some measures to set up the gold exchange and deal with the regulations for your vault managers vault managers are one who are providing the vault service which i just discussed further if i talk a bit more this is very important the proposed flow of transactions in gold exchange gold exchange mein jo hamari transactions hongi jo hamara physical gold receipts mein kaise kya operate karega wo ye process ye diagram aapko represent karta hai so the flow of transactions in gold exchange will happen in three different tranches three different parts first is first tranche tranche will deal in converting the physical gold to e gold or e gold receipts and the second tranche will deal in the trading of those receipts and the third converting the receipts back to physical gold suppose 
I want to invest in gold. I want to deal with this gold being traded on an exchange. I have physical gold. So I as a person can take the physical gold, go to the vault manager and ask him that I want this gold to be converted into electronic gold receipts and want to trade in them. So I physical gold to the vault manager and he will convert them in electronic gold receipts. Mein convert kar dega. Then those electronic gold receipts can be traded on the exchange where there will be gold ki trading hogi. in whichever exchange the gold will be traded. These receipts will be traded. Okay. Then there will be entire process of clearing and settlement like we have for stocks. Okay. Finally, if you have, suppose I, uh, some, I deposited the gold, then these receipts were created and they were traded. Now someone else bought that receipt. Now if I have that receipt and I am in need of gold, so I can take that receipt, go to the vault manager. Okay. Taking this receipt, I can go to the vault manager and get it converted into physical gold if I want it. So this is the three tranche framework. First is we are get it, we are converting the physical gold to e-receipts. Second is that e-receipts are getting traded. And third is that converting those receipts back to physical gold. Moving ahead, talking about the exchanges, where will this trading happen? This is some this is an area where SEBI is uh, asking our comments that either we can come up with a universal exchange like we have our stock exchanges where we deal with inequities that same exchange will deal in our gold as well in that stock exchange we start this e-gold receipts ki trading shuru kar de. Ek to ye option hai. Okay. extending the same logic existing stock exchange will be allowed to deal in these EGRs second option is that we set gold se deal karne ke liye naya exchange set up kar de. setting up a new exchange for dealing in this EGR is the second option. It will obviously offer you some advantages like more improved liquidity for gold will be there, proper gold delivery standards will be there, you can determine single price for the gold but the negative impacts are also there. अगर आप अलग से गोल्ड का एक्सचेंज सेट करोगे जो सिर्फ गोल्ड में डील करता है तो काफी कॉस्ट्स इनका करनी पड़ेगी। It will be time consuming. You will require fresh investment, more cost to set up the new exchanges. Okay, clearing corporation सेट करनी, new exchange सेट करना, fresh registration, uh, doing fresh registration of the members. So all this will increase your compliance cost. And uh, it's not viable that we set up an exchange just to deal in one single product that is gold. So SEBI is asking our comments on public comments on going in for a universal exchange or setting up separate exchange. Then they are uh, talking about the product denomination. If I talk about the receipts, these receipts can be created for trading worth 1 kg of gold, worth 100 grams of gold or 50 grams of gold. Other than that, for small ones who want to deal in small denominations, okay, to attract more uh, players, uh, the receipts are also available for 10 and 5 gram golds, okay. But if you want physical gold in exchange of these EGRs, then you can get physical gold only when you have at least 50 grams of gold. You can 10 gram ke receipt leke 10 gram ka gold lene nahi ja sakte. Minimum 50 gram ke gold ki receipts at best ho chahiye. Then there are many other issues which are uh, coming up and SEBI is seeking our views on that. There are issues with respect to taxation that should be imposed only security transaction tax and the IGST or some other way of taxation should be there. Then there are fungibility and interoperability issues. Fungibility means that if we have EGR1, can it be delivered against EGR2? Now, uh, suppose I am having some gold, I deposited it and got the EGR1 and I have and again I have some more gold and I deposited that and got EGR2. So can I, if the value is of both is same, say 1 lakh or quite similar, then can I give EGR2 to get my initial EGR1 related physical gold or not? Jo maine pehle gold deposit kiya tha, EGR2 ke badle mujhe wo gold mil jayega ki nahi, that's fungibility. Interoper interoperability means that if I am depositing the gold at one location with one vault manager, can I withdraw it somewhere else with different vault manager or not? So these are some concepts related to this gold exchange. So here in the question we were asked about the 
objectives behind the proposals the first one says that the objective is to set up gold exchange to become a price taker of gold no to become a price not a price taker but a price setter of gold so this statement is wrong the second one says that the proposed gold exchange would lead to efficient and domestic spot price uh, efficient and transparent domestic spot price yes it is true third one says that the proposed exchange would help in assuring the quality of gold greater integration with financial market augment the greater gold recycling yes so the second and third are correct answer is option d ye maine why karke jo slide thi usme ye concepts discuss kiye abhi this is the slide which i am talking about now moving on to the third question which is again related to this gold exchange thing only which of the following options uh, is correctly related to the framework of flow of transactions that sebi has proposed for spot gold exchanges so i discussed the three tranche framework with you so which statement is correct the first one says that the first tranche deals in converting your physical gold into egrs yes it is correct okay so when it is uh, if i talk about the second one it says trading in egr on stock exchange this was part of second branch second branch deals in converting the e gold into physical gold no that is for third branch so this is so these two statement again go again go wrong so the first one is correct moving on to last question of the day the question says that cryptocurrency have landed in troubled waters All popular digital currencies are witnessing steep drops, while Bitcoin is down 30% to $31,000. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency in the world, is down 40%. Dogecoin, the meme crypto popularized by Elon Musk, has lost 45%. So, which of the following reasons led to this major downfall? So, if I talk about this, recently we have seen a massive dip. with respect to the cryptocurrencies okay uh, earlier if we talk about this entire year the cryptocurrencies were really doing very well people were investing more and more because the returns were quite high but within a span of 24 hours on 19th of may we saw a massive dip so this is uh, the 12th may and now the 19th may figures so around 2.6 trillion dollars was the worth of tokens dealt with and on 19th may that value fall to around 1.8 trillion so around 600 bill uh, not exactly 1.8 somewhere near to that so 600 billion dollars ka downfall aaya hai with respect to dealing in the cryptocurrencies okay there has been a massive dip bitcoin has gone down ethereum has gone down dogecoin has gone down so virtual currencies are retreating so broadly and sharply that it's testing the durability of cryptocurrency boom ab hame question karna pad raha hai ki ye jo cryptocurrency boom kari ja rahi thi kya wo durable option tha bhi kya wo long time tak last karne wala hai bhi should we invest in cryptocurrency or not it has become a major question now talking about the reasons why we saw a major dip in this क्रिप्टो करेंसी की वैल्यूज इतनी कम क्यों होने लगी सो द मोस्ट रीजन डेवलपमेंट और द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन विच हैज लेट टू दिट्स डाउनफॉल इज चाइना अनाउंसिंग अ बैन ऑन क्रिप्टो करेंसी ट्रेडिंग चाइना ने बैन लगा दिया है कि क्रिप्टो करेंसी में डीलिंग्स नहीं होंगी इट हैज पुट अ ब्लैंकेट बैन बार्स ऑन द बैंक ऑन द ऑनलाइन पेमेंट प्लेटफॉर्म दैट दे विल नॉट ऑफर द सर्विस रिलेटेड टू क्रिप्टो करेंसीज be it the banks be it online payment platforms be it any financial institution any payment company ye sab ab cryptocurrency related transactions mein help nahi karengi and uh, this means that the banks online channels will not offer clients any service which deals with cryptocurrency related registration trading clearing settlement etc pehle bhi china ne aisa ban lagaya tha but wo itna एरियाज कवर नहीं करता था जो ये बैन कवर कर रहा है चाइना इम्पोज अ बैन ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन एज वेल बट कंपेयर टू दैट वेरी बैन दिस टाइम द स्कोप ऑफ प्रोहिबिटेड सर्विसज हैज बीन एक्सपैंडेड नाउ वाई चाइना इज बैनिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स 
firstly uh, it it thinks that this uh, run the bull run which this market has faced it's very speculative in nature okay it will infringe it's going to infringe the people's property it can harm the financial order the economic order of the country moreover it will also harm your fiat currency jo unki apni currencies hain वो अफेक्ट होंगी अगर ये क्रिप्टो करेंसी जो डिजिटल करेंसी डील कर इसमें हम करेंगे दैट्स वाई चाइना हैज इम्पोज दिस बैन नाउ इट्स ओनली चाइना इम्पोजिंग दिस बैन सो वाई इट इज इट इम्पैक्टिंग द मार्केट सो प्रोमिनेंटली इतना बड़ा नुकसान क्यों हो रहा है इस मार्केट में जब सिर्फ चाइना ने बैन लगाया है और किसी कंट्री ने नहीं इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दैट चाइना इज अ मेजर मार्केट ऑफ बिट माइनिंग more than 70% of the bitcoin mining is done in china it's a hub for mining operations now for dealing in cryptocurrencies you need to mine those coins the currency the cryptocurrency mining will involve a lot of mathematics a lot of algorithms which consumes which consumes a lot of energy as well okay so uh, you want to maintain the ledger of the ब्लॉक और द लेजर ऑफ दी ब्लॉक चेन डीलिंग जो ब्लॉक चेन हमारा नेटवर्क है उसमें डीलिंग्स हो रही है उसका एक लेजर मेंटेन करना है आपके करेंसीज क्रिएट करनी है जो डील करोगे सो उसमें बहुत ज़्यादा मैथमेटिक्स और एल्गोरिथम्स का यूज होता है उसको हम कहते हैं माइनिंग सो चाइना इज डूइंग मेजर माइनिंग फॉर योर बिट कॉइन सेवेंटी परसेंट से ज़्यादा वो हब था उसका एंड नाउ मेन इट इज इम्पोज दैट बैन दिस प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू बी अफेक्टेड टू अ ग्रेटर एक्सटेंट now is it the only reason for this fall in bit in the bitcoin and other currencies no it's the not only reason behind the crash isse pehle bhi past week se hum dekh rahe the ki fall ho rahi thi values mein so if i talk about the past week tesla ceo elon musk here the spelling is wrong it's elon musk so tesla ceo elon musk announced that the electric car maker won't be accepting bitcoin as a payment so tesla ceo elon musk has been a big supporter of this cryptocurrency concept okay previously he took a decision that against the electric cars which he sells uh, they will be accepting bitcoin as a payment option but now they have reversed this earlier decision and uh, they say it, and he says that no we won't be accepting the bitcoin as a payment now this has made people lose people lose faith in the bitcoin we if you uh, know that uh, this market is running because of support of tesla ceo as well wo tweet tweet kar dete hain kuch cryptocurrency ke favor mein to log usko kharidna shuru kar dete hain uske prices badh jate hain aur wohi agar uske negative tweet aa jati hai koi तो लोग उसको सेल करना शुरू हो जाते हैं उसमें इन्वेस्ट करना प्रेफर नहीं करते सो दिस इज वॉट हैज हैपन एल एन मास्क स्ट्रीट दैट ही वोट बी एक्सेप्टिंग बिटकॉइन एज अ पेमेंट एंड दैट क्रिप्टो करेंसीज आर हार्मिंग द इन्वायरमेंट हैज लेड टू अ क्रैश इन द क्रिप्टो करेंसी मार्केट सो बिटकॉइन्स मोस्ट पॉपुलर प्रोपोनेंट एल एन मास्क हैज बैक ट्रैक दिस हैज लेड टू वाइपिंग अप फाइव हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर्स फ्रॉम द बिटकॉइन its value was 65000 dollars in april and has fallen to more than 50% okay so he what uh, elon musk say that he the bitcoins and other coins are minted and that min, uh, are mined and that mining process uses a lot of energy of fossil fuels i have just discussed the mining okay where various algorithms mathematics is used to mine the coins so that mining process uses a lot of energy fossil fuels ki bahut zyada energy use hoti hai which is harming the environment so it's not good for the environment that's why he recommends that invest in those cryptocurrencies where the mining process is not uh, uh, basically harming the environment to a great extent okay so if one of the cryptocurrencies fall obviously the other will others will follow so ethereum dogecoin in sab ki bhi mining hoti hai ye sab bhi environment ko harm karenge so we have seen a downfall in them as well after the tesla turned the cold shoulder to bitcoin okay so it's better to invest in those cryptocurrencies which use less percentage of energy for mining of the cryptocurrencies moving ahead if i talk about after this fall in the value the crypto values crashing down crypto trade also halted um, amid this crash so when this market has crashed people some people thinking that the prices are fallen either want to buy these cryptocurrencies and some thinking that the future of these currencies is not good it's not legal it can any time be banned 
are wanting to withdraw their investments from here so that's why the different crypto exchanges saw lot of trading after this crash is trading ki wajah se because of this major trading happening the uh, platforms where such trade happens the crypto exchanges they even crashed cryptocurrencies like bitcoin and ether cracked after the ban and this led to wazir x coin dcx coins which could bear all these crypto exchanges crashed on 19th may kyunki jo volume of trade ho raha tha on these platforms it was quite high okay if i talk about wazir x people face delays in trading viewing their order book their trade history both on the app and on the website coin dcx there was because of high traffic some user exp- experience issues related to their service on the website on the app so itna zyada trade hua ki unke jo ek प्लेटफॉर्म्स है जो ऐप प्लेटफॉर्म्स है या वेबसाइट प्लेटफॉर्म्स है वही क्रैश हो गए इफ यू वो इफ यू वुड बी रीडिंग द न्यूज पेपर्स यू वुड हैव रेड अबाउट द क्रिप्टो ट्रेड कॉन्सेप्ट इन इंडिया ओके ऑलरेडी सुप्रीम कोर्ट प्रीवियसली गेव अ वर्ड इट दैट दिस क्रिप्टो ट्रेड इज नॉट इलीगल ओके अभी तक एंड दैंक शुड नॉट बेसिकली बैन इट अभी तक कोई डिसीजन नहीं आया है योर क्रिप्टो करेंसी बिल इज स्टिल पेंडिंग सो बैंक्स के पास ये पावर नहीं है कि वो बैन लगा दे आर बी आई बैन लगा दे क्रिप्टो करेंसी में ओके बट इट सीम्स दैट आर बी आई इज अनऑफिशियली आस्किंग द बैंक नॉट टू सपोर्ट दिस थिंग इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द ट्रेडिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्रिप्टो करेंसीज वी हैव सीन दैट different banks have not supported the payments on these platforms it seems that they have got notice from rbi for not doing so uh, agar aapki jo ye trading ho rahi hai na iske liye payments karni padti hai payment aapke bank se jayegi to kafi banks ne mana kar diya hai ki will not help to isse ye lag raha hai ki shayad rbi ne inko koi unofficial notice diya hai so as of now there is no legal notice in that regard but there are just is a just uh, assumption that rbi is basically against this uh, crypto concept so let's see what is the future of cryptocurrencies in india but if i talk about trading should you invest in them or not obviously if you are looking for a good investment options option to secure your money then obviously um, the bitcoin or any any other cryptocurrencies not a good deal for you if you have some spare money and for just for fun you want to invest and try it out this platform then you can obviously go for it it's really very volatile jo cheez ek saal pehle tak itni high thi wo aaj achanak itni kam ho gayi the entire trade here can depend on one tweet by a person like elon musk so unke ek tweet pe market itni badh jati hai aur ek tweet pe market itni crash bhi ho jati hai so obviously it's not a reliable source okay and it might happen that it is taken away from being a legal tender in india so it depends obviously on you that if you want to try this platform for fun but it's not actually a reliable source agar aap ise investment aapki secure hogi itna aapko mili jayega return us expectation se invest karna chahte ho to aapko nahi karna chahiye lekin aap apni marzi se for a fun aap is platform ko try karna chahte ho then no one can stop you obviously now moving back to the question we had to identify the reason for the fall so india announcing a ban on crypto trading india has not yet announced so this is not a reason china announcing a ban yes elon musk announcement that electric car will not accept bitcoin yes it's a reason musk tweets announcing apprehensions towards cryptocurrency mining harming the environment yes so second third and fourth are the major reasons for the fall in the value of these digital currencies answer is option d this was all for today's session it was quite interesting as per my idea it was quite interesting to learn about the topics like black swan events and this uh, cryptocurrency value falling i hope you liked the session too with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much